Hello and welcome to The Port. I'm Pryport, and today we'll be reviewing Doom Eternal. What makes this game good, what to expect, and how to navigate through the demonic universe. So stay tuned. Doom Eternal is a holistic first-person shooter where you were dropped into the sequel of Earth's Downfall, eight months after the events on Mars and Doom. Developed by ID Software and published by Bethesda, I was skeptical on how Eternal was going to turn out, given Bethesda's track record over the past couple of years. Released on March 20th, 2020, Doom Eternal was up against the hard-hitting and heavily anticipated Animal Crossing New Horizons. Targeting different audiences still made for some interesting and entertaining memes that are worth a look, but Doom Eternal delivered in the great, gory, rip-and-tear fashion that we all have come to expect from the series. The plot consists of a corrupt UAC and a new group of remaining rebel resistance, the Armored Response Coalition, aka the Ark. As the UAC continues to try and overtake the Earth's population and replace it with demons, the Doom Guy is tasked with removing three Hell Priests, Dieg Nylox, Dieg Grav, and Dieg Reynik. Also a very heavily influenced con maker is to be defeated if Earth is to entirely remove the demonic presence and restore peace and prosperity. He was badly wounded and wearing this. The arsenal comes equipped with a combat shotgun, heavy cannon assault rifle, plasma rifle, rocket launcher, super shotgun, ballista, chain gun, and the well-known BFG-9000. Each weapon also comes with two upgradable weapon mods, turning the initial weapon into an upgraded variant, excluding the BFG-9000 and the super shotgun, which only has one mod. Furthermore, each mod will have two upgrades that you can progress throughout the game, and also a mastery upgrade that is obtainable once the two upgrades are completed. This allows for great customization and upgradability with the weapons. Another great weapon retrieved in the game is the Crucible. This is among one of my favorites. A blood red sword that can mostly one-shot any enemy in the game and is overwhelmingly powerful. You are also equipped with a chainsaw to cut through basic or weakened enemies that will help you obtain more ammo along the way. Grenades include your regular launch grenade that causes your standard explosion and an ice grenade, or ice bomb as they call it, that freezes your enemies in their tracks, allowing for vile destruction. The grenades are also upgradable through your armor by sentinel crystal routing or armor tokens that you will find and obtain throughout the game. The Fire Belch is a unique rechargeable shoulder mounted fire burst flamethrower. This is a great way to add quick damage and set your demonic foes on fire. Also upgradable through the suit tab in the menu with armor tokens. This flamey sidekick packs a powerful punch. The Doom Slayer suit is upgradable in many ways, letting you have a much easier and deadlier slaying experience. A wheel with five categories and four options per category allow for a great deal of upgrading your suit. You will also obtain runes that, when equipped, will give your Doom Slayer passive abilities, such as slowing down time while in midair, that's my personal favorite, lower equipment recharge rates, and cooldowns being reduced. Although, keep in mind that only three of the nine obtainable runes can be equipped at the same time. You will also come across Sentinel Crystals throughout the game. Sentinel Crystals will allow you to unlock one upgrade stat that can improve your total HP, ammo, or armor. Also by unlocking the left and right ability in the same tile, you will unlock the center passive ability in the process. There is a total of 12 crystals, allowing you to unlock all the passive abilities and skill upgrades. So don't worry about spending too much. Along your journey, there are secret encounters you may come across. These are limited time battles, giving you 30 seconds to complete them. If you fail to defeat all the demons in the given time, the secret encounter will reset, allowing you to repeat as many times as needed. Completing these instances will allow your total demonic corruption bar and your 100% mission completion rate to go up. Alongside secret encounters are Slayer Gates. Slayer Gates are hidden within certain levels 
and outlined in a purple color. You will need to find the Slayer Gate key within the same level in order to open the Slayer Gate. There are a total of six Slayer Gates and keys. Once opened, you are thrown into a challenging instance. Defeat all the demons and you will receive one of six Empyrean keys. Obtain all six keys and you can unlock the Unmaker, a powerful BFG 9000 alternative. Sentinel batteries are obtainable throughout the campaign and can be used within the Fortress of Doom to unlock power-ups, skins, and much more. There are also hidden cheat codes, secret music tracks, and Doom toy plushies hidden around each map. This makes for higher level replayability and will have you searching for all the great secrets on each level. The Fortress of Doom is your home away from all the battle and chaos in Doom Eternal. You are able to cash in all the Sentinel batteries that you obtain throughout the game for some unique looking skins and some extra armor tokens and weapon upgrades. You can also find the music that you have collected around the fortress and the secret toy plushies that have been gathered in your slaying adventures in your personal room. The enemies return in full force to Doom Eternal. Dozens of demons will be at your disposal, each with their own classes, strengths, and weaknesses. I want to focus here on one demon in particular, the Marauder. You were never one of us. You were nothing but a usurper, a false idol. My eyes have been open. Let me help you to see, Slayer. Controversially the toughest super heavy demon in the game, and to some even tougher than most of the bosses. This guy can be a real pain in the ass. He will deflect all attacks against you, including the BFG, unless he is within a medium range of distance from you and in attack mode. When his eyes turn an emerald green and he draws his blade to strike, only then are you able to attack him. At a long range distance, he will throw a bolt of energy at you, also not allowing you to land a shot. To make matters worse, he will summon a wolf to aid him in his attacks against you. This is repeatedly summoned even after killing it. To counter the strength and presence of the Marauder, I would defeat the rest of the demons in the area when possible, then focus all my attention on him, allowing me to time his movements and kill him. If you are someone who is interested in the story both past and present, Doom Eternal does a great job of presenting us with a great story. In the menu, there is an option for codex entries. You will obtain more as you play the game, but these entries range from the story of Earth, Hell, the Sentinels, and the Makers, also adding codexes from each of the demons and weapons you come across in the game. For all the multiplayer enthusiasts out there, Battle Mode may quench your thirst for PvP. Although, not my cup of tea, this mode can be relatively fun. You are either a Demon Slayer, or one of two demons pairing off against the Demon Slayer. Equip your loadout and your playstyle before beginning, and the first to win three rounds wins the game. Unfortunately, the aspect of co-op multiplayer and the snap map mode are not available at this time, and I don't see any options for either becoming available in the future. Hopefully this will change as co-op play and level creation would be a great addition to the game and would be generously welcomed by the community. To sum it up, Doom Eternal is among one of my favorite releases so far in 2020. The gameplay is both challenging and smooth while holding to its Doom roots. It retains a top spot in my FPS library, as the fast paced action will have you on the edge of your seat for hours on end. With an in-depth campaign and multitudes of customization, I have had a great time with Doom Eternal. Although the snap map feature was among one of the best features in the prior title. It allowed for unlimited creation and imagination to run wild, along with up to four player co-op playability. Remaining unavailable will turn some people away from this title, and possibly future titles. In the end, I believe it was worth the money spent, and I'd spend it again. If you're looking for a challenging, semi-replayable campaign experience with some multiplayer additives, Doom Eternal is for you. What are your thoughts? Would you like to see an implementation of Snap Map back into Doom Eternal? How has your gameplay experience been? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up ski. And subscribe for future reviews and content right here in the port.